Hello, everyone. We're a million years from New York. Maybe? Keith's gonna write us a song. That's what I thought too. And then I was like, wait a second, we're not moving. No, no. And it's not daytime. And it's not daytime. The nearest exit, which may be behind you, are yeah. being pointed out now yeah. by your cabin crew. Because, like, you're wrapped around here. Your safety is our number one priority. And the crew are there to help you if you do not understand so, yeah. any of the procedures. Thank you for your attention. We hope you enjoy your flight to the Virgin Atlantic. that my name is Bob. It's a long story. I won't go into it for the moment. 
Anyway, at the very least, I hope you've all had a reasonable journey, a reasonable flight with us across the pond overnight. Long though it has been, goodness, you know, it's been the longest flight I've done in years from New York to London, and that says something as long as my career. But the reason, of course, was simple. They winds outside, and you probably felt them, didn't you? Buffeting away at the airplane last night. We were battling the headwind. I know some of you down the back were alarmed, weren't you? With the bump. You know when you're in your house at night, and there's gales and lashing rain and wind outside, and you're lovely and cosy inside, and you're looking out at it. That's the way you should look at turbulence. Because seriously, it doesn't do anything to you. Just... Uh, it's a bit uncomfortable, but if you look at it like that, you'll actually almost get some comfort out of it. Personally, I find it very relaxing, but there you go. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for choosing us sincerely. It's been our pleasure, and you've been lovely to look after. Genuinely, you have. Thanks again. Very good morning to you now. And put on your jacket. Please, the outside. drive the van because it's a manual and I'm up to the task first first look at the van here Wi-Fi DVD player bassist <laughs> table skylight If it's not now 